Hi guys, my name is Mariah. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about 10 ways that you can attract your dream man. Yay! I'm so excited to talk about today's topic because a lot of women always ask me how can I level myself up in order to attract the man of my dreams? Some of these ways are going to be simple and some of these ways will actually require effort from your part. A lot of women, especially in today's times where technology is king and pretty much runs everything, they really feel like they do not have to put in any effort or any work in order to attract their dream guy. And that is just simply not the case. Unfortunately, just like the rest of you, I wish we could have mail order grooms or we could go to build a man like build a bear workshop and put together our dream guy and just, you know, leave the store with him. But unfortunately, we can't do that. And we can't order him on Amazon Prime either. It sucks, but it is what it is. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like high value men or you wanna learn how to become more highly desirable, learn how to glow up and you like content that is all about becoming your own dream woman, please join us in Becoming Highly Desired. Thank you for clicking on this video and I would love it if you would subscribe. Before you are going to attract your dream man, I want you to sit alone in a safe space where you are completely relaxed, your mind isn't foggy, and I want you to write down what you desire in your dream man. Write down what he looks like. I want you to write down his age. I want you to be super detailed and specific on all of the qualities that you are looking for in that man. And when I tell you this works, ladies, trust me. The only way that this will not work is if you are not specific. You cannot write, I want a man who's loyal and just leave it at that. You have to be more specific. I want a man who's loyal and looking for marriage because the universe or God or whatever you believe in will end up sending you a man who's loyal to side chicks. Yeah. That's how it works, okay? So you have to be super specific in what it is you want. I know it's it's super detailed, but think about it. If you really wanna be married, you really want your dream guy, how far will you go? So make it a point to just write out what it is you're exactly wanting and what it is you exactly are looking for, okay? Be specific. Number two, after you are done making your list of your dream man and everything you desire in him, I want you to close your notebook, close your phone, whatever you wrote it on, and I want you to go poof, let it go out of your mind. Completely already know that you will meet him. You just have to solely focus on you and yourself and that man will come into fruition, ladies. I promise you, out of sight, out of mind. You need to just trust in God and you need to trust in the universe to bring you what it is you want. Totally get it out of your mind because the more you focus on it, the harder it will be to attract it. Trust me. And think about anything in life, right? How quickly does the year go by when you don't focus on every minute, every time, every hour of the day? The whole year breezed by like it was riding down in a Honda Civic. 2023 really did its thing. You need to stop focusing on him. Number three, you're going to put that same energy and effort that you put into that list into yourself. You are gonna start putting yourself first, you are going to invest into yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. All the effort that you put into men, dating, school, work, whatever you put your full force energy into, you need to put that same energy into yourself. A lot of times we get caught up in our day-to-day -day lives that we neglect ourselves. And no, I'm not just talking about skincare and make sure you just get all oiled up and you just turn on the candles and dim the lights and just journal. No, I'm not talking about that. I mean, really pour into yourself. You know, what makes you happy? Can you sacrifice from certain budgets to, you know, go out of your way to purchase something for you? You're doing things for other people all the time. Pour back into your own self. That also goes into 
working on your mindset, maybe doing a mindset coaching with myself where we go into boundaries that you want to set for yourself, right? Self-love, we work on exercises so that we can truly genuinely start valuing our own selves more. We start valuing materialistic things, jobs, titles, degrees, everything else other than our own self when if we can't love ourselves, baby, we can't attract anything not your dream life not your dream man not your dream anything okay so you need to put energy back into yourself okay step number four now this kind of goes with step number three but you need to focus on enrichment and enriching your mind okay putting that self-love into everything that you consume so whether that be not following toxic pages on social media, not following the people that you met at the club one time and now you feel obligated to continue following them because they asked for your Instagram but then y'all never hung out after that. Unfollowing all the people that you used to sleep with. Stop allowing these soul ties and soul connections to just have all this access and energy into you, okay? You need to start being exclusive right men especially high value men they want women who are exclusive and whether you think oh it's a double standard unfortunately ladies it just is what it is i don't make up the rules if it was up to me shit you can do whatever you want but i'm just giving you the real of what high value men will say right they want women that are exclusive you know usually women that maintain themselves and women of our caliber are exclusive so you need to you know maintain that standard or you making me look bad and you need to tell people that you don't watch my page okay a part of also you know being exclusive and doing more like self enrichment will also um benefit you in knowing your worth and knowing you deserve the highest out of life number five is you need to start going to nicer places with nicer people and i really want to elaborate on this i'm not saying you have to go to the most fancy places i'm not saying you have to spend an arm and a leg to attract your dream man but you have to embody the woman that you want to be when you are with your dream man would that woman just be sitting up at mcdonald's or at wendy's asking for a four for four and arguing with her man over you know who's gonna split the four piece nugget <laughs> no she's not okay she's not going to be entertaining low value situations low value places she is going to be seen out in public looking her best right you're going to want to match your dream guy's energy okay <laughs> i can just imagine like a couple inside wendy's arguing over a four for four that is sad please don't do that Nicer people also means that you want to be with people who make you look good. And I'm just going to keep it 1000 with you. I'm not saying to hang out with people because of how they look. But I'm trying to tell you that nicer people doesn't always mean look good on the outside. Look good on the inside as well. They're well spoken, right? They make you laugh, they uplift you, they're always positive, they're there for you, right? Nice people all around, okay? Don't hang out with the toxic homegirl just because she looks good and she's aesthetically pleasing. That's like a new trend nowadays where people just hang out with people just because they fit their aesthetic. What the fuck is that? Stop that shit, dude. Number six, be open to dating different. On your list, I'm going to encourage you that you don't put a specific type of, you know, ethnicity or culture or be open to different cultures. Because as I'm going to tell you, like I tell my clients, go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. And I feel like that goes for friendships, family and relationships. OK, you don't need to stay within your culture. We are not back in the freaking old times okay we are in 2023 about to be 2024 it's crazy to even think that you have to just stick to one type of type right 
be like the Skittles, baby. I want to taste the rainbow, right? I don't want to just be in a box. I want the whole rainbow. That way you will be more magnetic in attracting your dream man and the qualities that you wrote down for him. Another part of this that I'm going to add is be open to experiencing new experiences, right? Be open-minded. Even if you do date within your same ethnicity, culture, whatever, you might date somebody that didn't even get raised in the same culture. They might like different foods. They might like different crowds. They might like different things. Be open to trying things as long as the man's treating you right, paying for everything, right? And doing his part as a man, right? Be open-minded. Don't be like, oh, I don't do that. Nah, mm-mm, no, I don't do all of that. Don't do that, okay? Try to be open, try to, try to try new things. Challenge yourself, right? It's fun. Who wants to do the same shit all the time? Like, be different. We're gonna go into number seven now. Once you do start dating officially and you do put yourself back on the market, let him lead. Don't try to overpower the situation. Don't try to plan everything. Don't try to control everything, right? That is you getting into your masculine energy. The more that you stay in your feminine energy, the more you're going to attract that masculine dream man that you want, that leader, that provider, that man of your dreams, okay? Everything that you want on that list is probably going to be centered around masculinity. So if you yourself are being masculine, how do you think you're going to attract a masculine man. You're gonna attract the opposite. You're gonna attract a feminine man. And I know this is resonating with you real hard right now because maybe in your past, you've been the breadwinner. Maybe in the past, you've been the one that works super hard and he didn't do anything. He didn't invest into you. He didn't value you the way that you needed to be valued because you were too deep in your masculine. So you didn't even know that this was happening right before your eyes. You were attracting feminine men because of this so let him lead let him be in his masculine number eight and this is super important and leave me a comment down below if you want a full video on this but you need to do research when you are dating these men a lot of these men like to be future fakers they like to draw a picture of what they think you like based off your interests based off the type of woman you are and just cosplay your dream man while you are on the journey of attracting your dream man you are going to come across a lot of con artists a lot of future fakers fake flexors dudes who don't really have it like that dudes who are just trying to impress you but in a toxic way dudes who are just trying to sell you dreams okay and it's going to be heartbreaking if you don't do your full research you need to be knowing the ins and outs of who you are spending your valuable exclusive time with do the fbi research on these men ladies background checks check that facebook check under the sink check that phone check whatever needs to be checked okay make sure that you are talking to somebody who's legit and whose money is legit and whose job is legit and whose name is his actual name right number nine make sure that you are using your eyes more than your ears you need to be making sure that these men are actually going through with the words or the plans that they have made for you. Meaning, if they say they're going to plan a date, don't just keep talking to him because he said he was going to plan a date, but what did he actually do? If he said he was going to pay a bill, don't keep talking to him in hopes and prayers that he'll pay a bill. No, when he pays the bill, he can get more of your time. When he plans the date, you can text him back. I might look a little slightly different because my battery died right in the middle of me filming. So, if I look a little different, I'm sorry. The show goes on. Again, make sure that you are looking at actions, not words. A lot of times, our ears are our biggest weakness as women. Men know what to say to us in order to get what it is they want from us, so you need to be 10 steps ahead. Men can't do the games that they do if we solely focus on actions over their words. 
Last but not least, ladies, number 10. Do not settle for anything less than what is on that list. Every man, as I mentioned previously, there are going to be a lot of men that you will encounter that are going to be phonies. Sometimes this is probably a test from, again, whoever you believe in, higher up, to see if you're going to settle or if you really were standing on business when you wrote that list. I'm standing on business. He's standing on business. <laughs> I'm standing on business. The choice will ultimately be up to you. If it is not a man who treats you the way you want to be treated, if it is not a man who does the things that you ask him to do, if it is not a man who talks to you and is gentle with you, treats you with respect, he's not the one for you. Don't settle on him just because he looks good. Don't settle on him because, well, he meets the physical part of it or he meets the money part of it, but he doesn't meet the uh, emotional part of it, but he doesn't meet the financial part of it. No, exactly what you wrote on that list, you better not settle for anything until you get it, okay? That concludes today's video. I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you so, 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 so much for your support. Thank you for watching these videos. I continue to make this type of content based on the reactions I get from you guys. So if you like this type of content, if you like this type of video, you want more, please leave me a comment down below. Be sure to thumbs up this video, share it with a friend, turn on my post notifications. I do post weekly now. Yay! Love you. Bye.